Hi, I'm Randy Blue with Sherman Brothers Trucking, and I'll be working with Mona Chisholm from FV Martin. Today we're going to talk about how to safely tarp and untarp loads. 30% of the injuries in the flatbed industry are from tarping and untarping. That means hundreds of drivers are being injured while doing this. We realize that each load has its own unique hazards, but we believe that there are some safe work practices that we can use that apply to all loads. So now you've got your load loaded and secured, the next step is tarping it. To tarp safely, get your mind right. Mind right means you're thinking safety, you got a hat on to keep things from falling into your eyes, keep the sun out of your eyes. Also helps keep you clean so that when you're around the tarps, it doesn't get your hair dirty. Next thing is to have a vest on. You want to have a vest when you're in any kind of an industrial environment or around other trucks, and especially if you end up on the side of the road having to do something. You want good visibility for other drivers to see you. Another important item is gloves. We recommend these kind of gloves. You're not inclined to want to shake them off your hands because you don't have good dexterity with them. Another very important item is safety glasses. If you're touching rubber rope, you have safety glasses on. A lot of injuries, eye injuries, from when the rubber rope breaks or it slips out of your hand. Also, good traction control shoes like what Mona has here with proper ankle support. Be aware of the type of surface you're on and make sure that your shoes match. Now that we're done thinking safety for our bodies, we want to think safety for the load. You want to evaluate the top of the load. Is it slippery? Are there potholes that you're going to possibly fall into? And is it safe to walk on top of it? Always use a forklift to put your tarps up. It's safer and avoids back injury. Whenever you get on top of a load, you want to use a ladder. Prior to using a ladder, inspect it. Make sure it's serviceable. Items you're looking for is damage on the railing here. Make sure that each rung is securely mounted to its rail. Other thing you want to look for is that the feet are on level, solid surface and the angle here. If you look on the side of most ladders, there's a diagram demonstrating the proper angle. When you extend the ladder up, make sure that you have about three feet of ladder extending past where it contacts the load. It gives you a good handhold. When you're climbing up a ladder or off of a ladder, use three points of contact, any three limbs at one time. Right here is the time to slow your mind down. Quit worrying about anything else but the fact that you're doing a high risk operation, transitioning from ladder to load. See, by having this three feet here, it gives us a balance point. Right here we have a danger spot. There's a hole in the load and you gotta keep track that it's there because when it's covered up with a tarp, you can post hole through that and break your leg. Get down here and lower your center of gravity, get this tarp off the forklift operator, or forklift, say thanks to the forklift operator. When maneuvering tarps like this, let the load support the tarp as much as possible, swing it around and roll it. Now that we're on top of the load, position the tarp so that the edge of the tarp is even with the back of the load. Take your bungees off, keeping them for use later. Grab a hold of the tail and walk it forward, watching where you're stepping. Now that you've got the tarp unrolled, make sure it's centered and it's time to unfold it. 
While you're unfolding, be aware of these open spots in the load so you don't post hole. As you approach the edges of your load, it's very important to make sure that you don't stand up and lose your balance. So go down to all fours when you're working near the edge. So now you've got your tarp unrolled, it's time to completely unfold it. Some things to concern yourself with. Approaching the edges, it's a good idea to go down to a knee. And also, don't overcommit when you're flipping the tarp over. A couple things, wind can come carried away or you can lose your balance. So if you notice, Mona is laying down, she's close to the edge, keeping in mind that that's a high risk maneuver. While she's finishing that up, it's time to tuck in the tail of the rear flap. A lot of times, you wish you had another set of hands, so we use another bungee to do that. Helps eliminate some of the frustrations that you might have. If you notice, anytime I'm working with the bungees, I got my safety glasses on, and I never pull directly towards myself, because if this breaks, you end up decking yourself. Now we have an advantage here, we got two people. Mona, would you grab the flap? Grab under the corner there and flip it up. Anytime you can get somebody to help you, it's a lot easier. When you're doing this by yourself, don't make this one too tight because it's hard to get it pulled over and centered. Now that extra bungee that I use for my helping hand, I can use to finish securing the edge. Again, we want to get rid of the extra, flip it up, hook the bungee to it, In this case, my bungee's too long, but that's all right, because we'll go through the D-ring and double back on it. Never pull towards, you always pull away. Find a good secure spot. Now it's time to run the sides. One of the concerns when you're using rubber rope is pinching your fingers. So when you do this, be aware of where your fingers are. And when you're tightening, push down with your thumb pointing towards the ground. When you reach in, you won't pinch your hand. So now we're to the point where we're ready to untarp this load. Untarping is one of the areas where a lot of people get hurt. There's a high risk to it. We want to use some good safe practices, one of which is when you go to get the tarp off, put some air under it to relieve the corners and use a good balanced position, similar to using what you'd use in a tug of war to pull it off. At this point, we're gonna be kind of fussy about getting all the wrinkles out, making sure the tarp is flat and square. 
The reason we're going to do that is so that we can roll up the tarp as small as possible. The small tarp's a lot easier to handle. As you can see, it's a lot easier with two people. Anytime you can help another driver out and then have them help you, makes your life a lot simpler. The way we're gonna fold this tarp is we're gonna fold the center twice. That way when we unfold the tarp on the next load, we know how to center it without doing a lot of extra work. Now it's time to work smart, not hard. Drag the tarp over to where it's gonna finish. We're gonna want it up here on the tarp box. So what we'll do is position our bungees under here fold it in half so we don't have to roll it quite so far. Yeah, just roll it. Now it may seem like a pain, but we want to use our safety glasses at this point because anytime you use rubber rope, use your safety glasses. So now we want the tarp to finish up here. Let the ground carry most of the weight, lift it up. A lot of tarps can be real heavy and large, especially in the winter time. So try to use as much advantage as you can. Use good proper lifting techniques. Lift one end up and rest it on your knee, keeping good posture. Lift the other end up, using your legs to support it and then kick it up to where you want it to go. Now, once it's up here, you can use a limited amount of energy to position it where you want it. 